Good morning, students. So for backing up your files, uh, it's important first to know what you want to back up and how you're going to do it. So in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to do it with an external USB. And what you would do is first identify what you want. When you click on your Finder icon, that should pull up, I think, very similar to your Windows view. And I'm just going to change the order here. I can arrange by, you know what, I'm in all my files. I'm going to go to my username, so Ferg SC. It's called your home folder here. And here you can see all of your primary things that you might want to back up. So for me, I saved some things to my desktop. And I'm going to hold down Command so I can click the other ones. And Documents, Movies, Music, and Pictures. Okay, Those would be the five main documents that I would need to back up, that I have important things in. Uh, things like applications, all of those can be reinstalled. Downloads, I don't leave files in my downloads folder because I move them or delete them as needed. But these five folders have my main documents. And all I do now is I would insert a USB key, and I'll do that here. And that's going to pop up over here in devices, right? So I now have my USB key with the little eject symbol. And to back them up, all I need to do is just drag and drop it into the FERG. Now if I wanted to, if I want to keep it organized, I can open up that folder as well. And then make a new folder. And I could call this March 2013 Backup. And that's a good idea, just that you know when your backup was taken and how old it is, in case you add new files and you want to update it later. And all I'm going to do is drag and drop it. I can drop it here. I could have also dropped it right into here and just going to calculate and see how long it takes. Okay, I have a lot of files, so that's is probably actually going to be bigger than my USB key can hold. Uh, but that's the basic process. So I'm going to stop that. Okay. When it is finished, you'll be able to eject your USB key by clicking on eject or dragging it to the trash. And as you can see, because it's still thinking about transferring them, it won't let me. I'll give it a second here. Try again. Okay. All right, so basically, that's the main idea. As soon as it disappears from here, I can pull up my USB key, and now I have a backup that is safe and secure. 